Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Lights Out, aka Lights, and today's commentary is going to be about five things I'm excited for in Black Ops 3. Now, Ghost and Advanced Warfare had a couple of kind of touchy subjects for me that was kind of like meh. It wasn't horrible, but they were kind of like lacking. And a lot of these things are very simple, but I'm excited for because Black Ops 3 is something that I hope is going to rejuvenate the community as a whole. Now, before we get into it, if you want to go ahead and and like the video if you enjoy the content. Uh, please consider that anytime during the video. Let's go for 50 likes again and let's try to reach it. We've kind of been missing a little bit uh, in previous videos. So let's go ahead and try and hit it this video. Now, first thing I want to talk about is the grenades. Okay. As simple as it is, Advanced Warfare doesn't have a lethal and a tactical left, right, uh, LT, RT, LB, RT, or, or RB, whatever it is on Xbox, where you have a tactical and a lethal. Yeah, advanced warfare, you can do it, but you need wild cards, and it takes up a ridiculous amount of points, and you can only use one on the left or whatever. I don't, I don't remember how it worked. But it's something that I'm excited for. There's nothing like rushing and dumb, going straight up center, going to B, uh, B flag, throwing... Throwing two stuns, throwing a sticky on it, and then three of your teammates jump on the flag and it's yours. You can't do that in Advanced Warfare, let alone the grenades suck in Advanced Warfare regardless. So, I'm excited to have back the the two-slot system, you know? I'm, I'm excited to be able to run frags and run some uh, concussions or whatever. The next thing is there's no variance, like... There, it's not like I mean you can create your variants in the gunsmith or whatever but I mean it's not like having obsidian steed that is complete luck and, and whatever I think that's the biggest thing with advanced warfare was for me was the RNG the the luck the supply drop that you know I it doesn't fit my my kind of liking as a cod player I like to earn progress restart earn progress I don't like if I reset in in blackout or advanced warfare I literally lost Oh, I did reset pretty much going from Xbox to PS4 and I just completely lost everything and guess what? I can't earn that obsidian steed back. I can't earn the ro royalty moors. I can't earn my um, My AK-12 rip. It's all given to me by luck and I don't like that. So that that's number three or four Yeah, two two things whatever next moving on there is absolutely no panic knifing in this game from the front if i'm coming around the corner you're coming around the corner and you start putting shots into me with the smg and i just panic knife you bam in the face i don't care how many shots you get into me at the beginning but as soon as you start shooting me i punch you one hit kill bam done however in black ops 3 there's going to be the gun butting right where you can just hit with the, the gun and it's a two sh i don't believe it's a two hit kill um obviously if you hurt it's going to be a one hit kill but if you're coming around the corner and somebody starts putting shots into you and you and you hit them you melee them guess what guys you're gonna die because they're gonna finish shooting you they're just gonna slightly flinch and they're just gonna keep shooting you now this is something that's been very big for me because panic knifing panic lunging lunge knifing or whatever you know obviously to be able to one hit melee you have to have your knife out or you have to do it from the behind, I believe. I think if you stab somebody in the back or if you hit somebody, butt them in the back with your gun. It's a one-hit kill. But that's I'm more concerned about the one-on-one -on -one gunfights, getting side swiped and stuff. So that's that's a huge improvement. Number two, I think. Number four. I don't know. Second to last. This is something that's very big. In Advanced Warfare and Ghost especially, no matter how much I like Ghost, score streaks sucked booty and oh my god the the loki was horrible the support stuff was was bad you know specialist is what i ran most of the time besides you know some certain modes and classes i ran like assault stuff and you know when we ran clan wars i ran support but score streaks in black ops 3 has got me excited reading through the list watching videos on it there's such a variety there's some you know, passive streaks. I miss Black Ops 2 streaks, such as running the um, the Guardian and and stuff like that. And you know, they got some of those like passive things or things that probably people won't be running. But you have so many streaks to choose from. And guys, the most important feature that I'm looking forward to in the in Black Ops 3 is the gunsmith. Imagine a lights out 
official design of gun that I can create. And the biggest thing I'm excited for is the sharing feature. I don't know if I can share this with my subscribers or just my friends, which if you are a subscriber and you have me on PS4 and we're playing, you can you can use it. Or I don't I don't know any details in this, but we do know that there is a sharing feature. And can you imagine like the possibilities of a YouTube um, careers popping up? Like, think about the Black Ops 2 emblem editors and um, people who made emblem tutorials all day, every day on their channels and grew exponentially because of it. Think of people who can do that with guns now and then share them. That would be absolutely sick and insane and fun. Like, I. I don't even know how to go into it and um, I could care less about player customization I can't see my player so advanced warfare has all this stuff and in game it doesn't even look like it does on the player in the lobby like the lobby is this amazing and you grind and all this and you know it's whatever but the gunsmith is absolutely gonna be incredibly insane and I can't wait to play with it. I can't wait to use it I can't wait to share and, and get guns and, and such and uh, if you enjoyed the video guys that's all but if you if you enjoy the video make sure you leave the like let's reach the like goal go ahead and subscribe if you're new around leave a comment down below tell me your most anticipated feature or thing coming in on black ops 3 next year that you can't wait to use or do or, or participate in and whatever and until next time guys my social media links are down in the description below make sure you check them out and guys i'm out of breath but i'm lights out and peace